Hello viewers. In the last class I told you about this debentures. What is a debenture? Different types of debentures and everything I told. Now today I am going to tell you about this accounting treatment of debentures when they are issued and redeemable at par. I mean at redeemable to the people. So this thing it is very very important okay from account point of view so there are some general entries that we have to pass okay these general entries are okay first one first one is okay debentures issued at par and redeemable at par so the entry is bank account debtor to debentures account that is the first thing that we will come across and second one is debentures issued at um, discount and redeemable at par. So for that debentures issued at discount, that is reducing that, reducing the face value and redeemable at par, that is repayable at par. So bank account data, discount on debentures account data to debentures account. This is the second entry. Third entry is debentures issued at a premium and redeemable at par. That is, we will issue the debentures, the company people, they will issue at a higher rate, over and above the face value or par value. That is nothing but issued at premium. So, for that, bank account debtor to debentures account to premium on debentures account. Like this, you will come across. And the next one is debentures issued at par, okay, but redeemable at a premium. Okay, debentures issued at par, but redeemable, uh, but, uh, but redeemable at a premium. So the entry for this is bank account data loss on issue of debentures account data to debentures account to premium on redemption of debentures account. Okay, this is the fourth one, and the fifth one is debentures issued at a discount but redeemable at premium. So debentures issued at pre uh, discount but redeemable at a premium. So in this case, you will come across bank account data, discount on debentures account data, loss on issue of debentures account data to debentures account to premium on redemption of debentures account. Here, premium on redemption of debentures is completely a capital profit. So it must be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet whereas loss on issue of debentures and discount on issue of debentures they are nothing but the capital losses and they must be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet okay and another thing is we can issue the company people they will issue the debentures as a collateral security suppose if the company if a company wants some loan amount from a bank okay it will issue okay primary security it will issue then after that the bank people they will ask about the collateral security so the company people they will issue the debentures as collateral security to the bank for getting the loan so automatically when the company people when they are taking the loan means naturally they will anticipate the bank people they will anticipate some interest so interest is separate interest is separate and keeping this as security is also a different thing so in this case generally okay they will issue the debentures as collateral security whenever the value mean loan value when it is high over and above the value of the share value of the debenture so this is how we can say that okay the banks they will go for collateral security and they will ask their company people to keep this collateral security that is uh, company people they will keep, they can keep the debentures as collateral security after that we'll have an important topic that is nothing but redemption of debentures okay this is an old topic but here i have to tell that okay because okay nowadays and in recent years 
this redemption of debentures people they are not taking into account okay into the in the syllabus they have removed that but people they must know about the redemption of debentures that is nothing but repayment of debentures the debentures issued may be redeemed in any of the following ways okay there are five ways okay there are four ways sorry there are four ways and in any way you can repay the debentures amount by payment to debenture holders either at par at premium in lump sum either at the expiry of a specified period or within a specified period as per the terms of the issue okay so a lump sum amount will be given a lump sum amount will be given to the debenture holders by the joint stock companies the second method is redemption by annual drawings that is whatever it may be the debentures amount okay by annual drawings that is for one year this much amount like that they have to draw and they have to give even though it is a tedious job for the company joint stock companies but this is one of the way for repayment of debenture amount to the debenture holders the third one is redemption by conversion of debentures into who shares or new debentures that is the next thing that is we have to convert the debentures either into shares or into new debentures this thing also we will come across when we go for repayment of debentures to the debenture holders and the last one is debenture by purchase of own debentures in the redemption by purchase of own debentures in the open market that is the company people they have to purchase the their own debentures in the open market those people who will come forward to sell the debentures if the company people if they don't pay the amount then the company people they will come forward and they will purchase their own debenture paying the amount in this way also we can repay the debenture holders without any further problem so one these are the four important ways for repayment or redemption of debentures okay coming to the first one okay so when you take into account the amendments act of 2000 companies amendment act of 2000 okay it had given three sections section 117a 117b and 117c 117a deals with the creation of trust deed okay section 117b deals with the appointment and functions or debenture trustee and section 117 deals with the the creation of debenture redemption reserve account okay so like this three sections okay the amendment act of 2000 companies amendment act of 2000 it had given for the repayment of debentures to the debenture holders the company people also they are going to follow this okay they are also going to follow this okay sixth <coughs> this is redemption out of capital when it is redemption out of capital the three sections the companies act of 2000 the companies amendment act of 2000 it had given three sections 117a 117b 117c okay and this is when it is out of capital that is repayment of debentures repayment of debenture amounts to the debenture holders out of capital in this case what will happen is the capital amount will come down generally because they are paying out of capital that is so the capital amount will come down so this is the first thing that we come across second thing is out of profit whatever it may be the company gets the profit in that okay some amount of profit must be taken and it will keep that as a reserve so it must be transferred to debenture fund and this debenture fund instead of keeping ideal idly okay they have to invest in short term investments so that thing is nothing but debenture fund investments okay and this investments whatever it may be they will be matured after one year that is 
they have to give they have to do investment only for one year so whatever it may be the interest amount that comes it must be transferred to the debenture fund and whatever it may be the investment amount it must also be transferred to debenture fund and from the debenture fund the amount must be paid to the debenture holders okay they uh, on maturity suppose if the time period is 5 years up to 5 years they will invest and the total amount whatever they procure along with interest amount they will take transfer that to debenture fund and from that fund they will prepare i mean they will pay off the debenture holders suppose whatever it may be the amount that was left in the debenture fund some companies what they are doing is they are keeping that okay as a reserve some companies what they are doing is they are going to purchase okay new debentures they are going to purchase new debentures and this is very very important from accounting point of view because we are not taking into account okay out of capital because capital amount will reduce and will come down so naturally you will come across some hindrances when you go for capital amount when you want because out of capital only they have to look after all their things okay out of capital only when capital amount when it is decreasing naturally it will be a hindrance for the company because capital amount is gradually decreasing they have to again go for issue of shares and one thing that issue of shares will be done only one time okay suppose if they want to issue second time if the company people wants to issue second time for raising the funds then they have to take into account the permission from sebi securities exchange board of india and cci controller of capital issues so on the permissions of those two people only the company they can go for the second time issue of shares okay issue of shares and that thing we'll call that thing as rights issue we we'll call that thing as rights issue so generally repayment of debenture holders it will be done out of profits only so out of profits means every year whatever it may be the profit the company people they are deriving they will keep some amount aside and they will transfer that amount to debenture fund and from debenture fund they will go for short term investments that is one year and whatever it may be the interest that they are going to get they have to transfer that to the debenture fund and whatever it may be the investments okay that they have invested at at the end of specified period they have to sell that in the open market and whatever it may be the amount that they receive by sale of these investments they must take that and they have to pay that to the debenture holders and people they must keep in mind that every time we have to pay interest that is compulsory here coming to the principal amount i'm talking coming to the principal amount when it is a troublesome job to the company joint stock company they are going for redemption of debentures out of profits so that's why this topic okay redemption of debentures out of profits is very very important and we will come across some journal entries in this regard so at the end of first year for the amount set aside every year profit and loss appropriation account debt or to sinking fund or debenture fund you can call that thing as sinking fund or debenture fund okay anything is one the same then after that at the end of for making the investments for making the investment sinking fund or debenture fund investments account debt or to bank account okay sinking fund I mean sinking fund is a liability whereas sinking fund investments is an asset so like this they have to go and for interest suppose if they receive interest bank account debt or to sinking interest on sinking fund investments account or debenture fund investments account and this thing they have to transfer to depre i mean debenture fund or sinking fund so interest on sinking fund investments account debt or to sinking fund account or debenture fund account so like this you will come across and alternative the interest received can be directly credited 
to sinking fund i told you already bank account data to sinking fund account so like this you will come across for annual amount set aside profit and loss account appropriation account data to sinking fund account and sinking fund investments account data to bank like that it will continue for subsequent years and in the last year and in the last year for amount realized on sale of investments bank account data to sinking fund investments account whatever it may be the amount that was realized okay next for profit on sale of investments sinking fund investments account data to sinking fund account for profit and if it, there is a loss reverse entry that is sinking fund account data to sinking fund investments account this is in the case of loss whatever it may be now for the transfer of debentures to debenture holders debentures account data premium on redemption of debentures account data to debenture holders first we have to transfer the debentures as well as the premium on redemption of debentures to debenture holders then the debenture holders account data to bank account okay for transfer of sinking fund balance to general reserve so you can keep this sinking fund okay as it is in the balance sheet or you can transfer that to general reserve so in that case sinking fund account data to general reserve account okay like this you will come across general entries okay in the case of redemption of debentures so with this automatically the debentures okay aspect it will come to you of course there are some other ways there are some other ways i told you the first method for redemption of debentures there are some other ways also to go for redemption of debentures and most of the people most of the people they'll feel happy with this first method only either it is out of capital or out of profit generally generally speaking okay the redemption of debentures it will be done out of profit only but not out of capital only very very few companies only they will opt for that when they are going for that mind that they have to follow the three sections implemented by the uh, companies amendment act of 2000 that is 117a 117b and 117c these three things are compulsory for any joint stock company for any joint stock company so people what they are doing is instead of going for that they are going to choose they are going to choose this out of profit redemption of debentures out of profit only and the other methods you have but thing is they are not available they are not there in your syllabus of bcom okay so with this i am going to close and if you like this this is not a other things this is completely an educational video that i am telling to all the people and if you like this please subscribe and one more thing that i want to tell you all is in a very short period i am going to start online classes online classes for intermediate as well as degree that is bcom in a short span and whomever they require the online classes okay in whatever it may be the commerce or account subject i am ready to take into account that online classes and i am going to do my level best to and make you understand about that concepts okay whatever it may be the subjects you can take business statistics costing okay corporate accounting there are so many things financial accounting one financial accounting two okay advanced accounts all these things okay i am going to take and whom those people who desires of this okay they can go for this online classes and in a very short speed in a span a span of time in a one in a very short span of time i am going to start that okay so if you like this please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much